So to start pushback, open the FMC, click on menu, and on FS actions, shortcuts, pushback. So now we're going to enter 100. It all depends on how far back you want to go. And we're going to make a 90 degrees turn. And we are going to start. And uh, ground, cockpit. Captain. We're all set to go up here. We've been cleared to push and start at your discretion. Open the pedestal. Click right here. Right there, ready for push. Power and air clear. Doors closed. We are ready for pushback. Release parking brake, please. Release parking brakes. Okay, parking brake is off. Clear to push. Brakes off. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start our engines. Click on engine ignition A and start engine number 3 by pulling on the engine start switch for engine number 3 once you get to 15 percent and 2 you wanna put the fuel cutoff lever to on and start engine 1 you always wanna start engine 3 first, then 1, and finish with 2. Fifteen percent and 2, and start engine 2. Open the pedestal because we're gonna have to put parking brakes back on. Push is complete, set parking brake, please. Alright, brakes are set and uh, pressure is normal. Okay, sir, tow bar is on, pin is out, watch the pin on the right. Alright, guys, thanks, you're cleared to disconnect. We will uh, be watching for the pin and the release from guidance on the right side of the airplane, and uh, we'll see you guys next time through. Roger that, and have a good flight. As you can see, the APU has automatically turned off. Now turn APU bleed air off and you'll see pack 2 going back on as it's been automatically turned off for engine start okay now we're gonna set our flaps so press twice on your key to lower flaps and you're gonna see right here that flaps are set to 22 we also want to arm ground spoilers, so right click on the ground spoiler lever and you can close the pedestal. Now we want to check the flight controls, so open the ACAS panel, click on config, yeah we're already on the configuration page, just move the controls so all the hydraulic systems are working. Now we want to set auto brakes to take off. And before taxiing we want to turn taxi lights to taxi, nose light to taxi.
we've reached the hold position point, we're gonna turn external lights on, nose light to land, and we're gonna turn on the high intensity light, which is the strobe light. Now we're gonna take a look at the autopilot. I want it bigger. Okay. So press on auto flight. This is gonna this is gonna um, activate the auto throttle system. It used to say ATS off here, and now it doesn't say anymore. Press on nav. This is the equivalent of a L nav on a Boeing, and on profile, which is the equivalent of V nav. So now, there's a few important things to know about the autopilot on this MD-11. First of all, all autopilot systems are either on or off at the same time. You can't only use, for example, auto throttle and have all the other autopilots off. And also, if you want to disconnect the autopilot, do not press on these buttons. Then you're going to get a voice saying, autopilot off and you won't be able to stop it. You want to go to the VC and click on this on this yellow button. You can also configure it on your keyboard. When the auto throttle is armed on takeoff once you've pushed the thrust levers forward over 65% N1 you'll hear a click that's telling you that the auto throttle has been activated and is going to set the takeoff thrust. And we are now ready for takeoff. Positive rate. Gear up. 